At first glance, this particular problem looks like the same problem as the last problem, in that we're trying to graph values that don't exist. So you can see here in this bottom chart, this is our data graph. So December the 1st, you get a mapping, December the 2nd you do, then there's nothing until December the 5th when you get a little dot. What we're trying to achieve though is this upper graph where the days in between are filled in, but just joined up. So we can see there's data for the 2nd, data for the 5th, and then everything in between is then joined up. Now on the previous example, there was a gap because there was a space in the data. We didn't have any apples in April, for example. Now here, there isn't a space in the data. There just isn't a value for it. So it goes the first, the second, and then the fifth. There's no line, there's no gap that says the third, the fourth. So how can we not create this, but create this to give us a better idea of our sales pattern? Because what happens when you're closed for a week or shut down for two weeks is this graph will get truncated and you then can't see the pattern because the weeks without sales or the days without sales just don't exist in the data. Well, creating this top chart is actually easier than you might think. From Excel 2013 onwards, it's just as easy as creating a chart. In previous versions, you'd have to do a little bit of clicking and changing the options. So let's have a look how we would go about it. So if you figure that this is the target where every day of December is mapped along the bottom axes, even if there's no values for them, just to give you an idea of the pattern, whereas here, only those dates that have sales get mapped, which is not quite what we're trying to achieve as far as patterns go. So we go to our data. We can highlight or we can just leave as is and use our keyboard shortcut. Don't forget the F11. Obviously, we'd then need to change that to a line chart. Now, I tend to choose a line chart with markers so we can see where there's data and where there's just space. And then OK. And you can see down here, 12, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, I've done nothing. I've just created the chart and Excel has already filled in the gaps of the dates for me. Even though I have no data for the third or the fourth, the line exists, the space on the chart exists, so I can see the pattern of the sales. And it's not been truncated and skewed out by the fact that we have days with no sales or days when we're not even open. Now on previous versions of Excel, that wouldn't happen automatically. You would need to go into the properties and change. So where would we go to make that change? Well, we need to go into here, right click, format the axes. And this is what's doing the work for us. It's automatically selecting the data for the axes based on the data it sees. And because it's seen dates, it's filled the gaps in. If I were to change that to text, you see it would only map the actual values that exist. So it goes to the second and then it jumps to the fifth. The chart line has changed shape slightly because it's now missing the empty dates. If I go for date, it puts them back in. So it's very clever as Excel already in doing some of that work for you. So the default now is automatically figure it out. So if your column contains dates, it assumes dates. If there are dates not in the range in your data, it still puts them in in the chart. So it's great for creating line charts of sales data, cost data, staff attendances, whatever kind of information you need to map across time where you might not have every day covered in the range. In fact, there's nothing to do from Excel 2013 onwards, but create your data, create the chart with your F11, and it will already fill in the missing date gaps.